got to, but now I'm going to. Is that the last of them? Oh, thank feck. Looks ripe for adventure. Maybe a tad overripe. run away. Well, no, I guess it wouldn't. Maybe they should try that. Thank <laughs> you. 
ready in a moment. Wait, who are you? Curse? No, no. My bloodkin are loyal to the last, but at times they're thicker than troll dung. It's clearly poison, though how it affected so many is indeed curious. Why do you ask? Then here, take this list. Everyone who fell ill had three similarities. They ate food cooked in the same pot, drank water from the same well, and wore clothes washed in the same stream. Bring a sample from each. We'll find the source of the poison. I have dealt with sickness, broken bones, and plague. This is poison, I have no doubt. Symptoms are very similar to bites from the spiders in our tin mine. I'm thankful none have died, but it's damn inconvenient. The bandit attacks are relentless. I won't know anything for certain until I get those samples. What is it? should only take a few moments. Clothes are fine. The poison wasn't in the stream. Hmm. The meat is cooked past the point of edibility, but no poison. If it's not in the well water, we'll need to rethink this. Wait, do you smell that? Ha <laughs> ha, that's it! It's in the well water! Poison was in the well water. Even better, I know exactly what kind it is. Spider venom. Enough to incapacitate, but not kill. Odd. Mingling with water in such a fashion would require a variety of alchemical compounds to dilute the venom. I'm saying it's odd, that's all. What's important now is the antidote. The venom is common to the spiders infesting our tin mine but I'll need a concentrated amount. Look for Broodmothers. Their venom sacks are potent, and durable enough not to pop when you smash the filthy creatures. They hate the light, so you need to search the deepest parts of the mine.
bandits broke into the village. Bandits rushed the gates and scaled the walls. There's not enough of us to drive them back. Broken arm. It's nothing. Stand with us! Drive these bandits into the mud! So many poisoned, we couldn't have repelled the bandits without your help. Someone deliberately poisoned our strongholds well. The sickness began the day of the bandits' first attack. It couldn't have been them, not directly. You should speak with Moramat, one of Chief Dushko's wives. She's tended the chief since he fell ill. You've shown you stand with the stronghold, and for that, you'll remain welcome. But if you wish to stop the poisoner, you'll need her approval, or the others won't help. Smoke, ash, and fire. Just like home. You've proven yourself blood kith to our stronghold. If any here would call you outsider, you are welcome to answer with the back of your hand. Now, what is it you need? Yes. He convinced me there was never a curse. Know that while Chief Dushko remains ill, I speak on his behalf. I'm his hearth wife, and I say the poisoner must be brought to justice. The sickness happened before the first bandit attack. None are missing from the stronghold. The poisoner must be among us. Can't be any of the victims. There are unpleasant symptoms. Very unpleasant. Speak with the unafflicted. Find out where they were the night before the sickness began. Return to me with their tales, and we can find the lies within them. Well? Ah, the hero. What do you want? It's shameful for the raiders to do such a thing. They must have dropped the poison in the well during one of their attacks. If you say so. It's been a blur. Can't even remember when I last slept. Checking and oiling weapons in the longhouse? Bad for the bandits when they attacked. Still didn't keep them from poisoning the well. of a hammer on iron is a beautiful thing to hear, whether in battle or at the forge. But our mind produces tin. Can't keep a good rhythm with tin. Once the chief is back on his feet, I'll be the new forge wife. Then we'll see who gives the orders. Not that you care. Go ahead, ask me anything. Right here, stoking the forge while my apprentice ran errands for Maramat. Think she can take her away, make my work shoddier? <laughs> Besides, temperature changes can ruin the metal. I didn't have a choice. 
shored up defenses, repaired weapons and armor for the few warriors left standing. Haven't you heard the ring of my hammer? Used it on a few bandits, too. Bandit helmets can't take three hits. Clang, clang, crunch. Shoddy workmanship. If I'd wanted to sabotage the stronghold, I could have the walls topple or make shoddy blades that crumble in our warriors' hands. Yet the walls stand fast and our weapons strike true. Any other insults you care to toss at me? I have metal. Hello, Bloodkith. Heard you gutted some bandits in the attack. You mean the curse? Sure. I'll help any way I can. It's what I do. Most of our warriors are sick in their beds, or barely able to hold an axe. More bandits for me! Training with Nemorath near the front gate. He opens himself to counterattacks when he lunges. Knew it would hurt him eventually. But he survived the attack, so he'll remember next time. Or not, and he'll die. He should really try to remember. Because bandits are dumb. They think an open gate is a weakness, so they all head for it. But we cut them down before they get inside. They could, but they don't. The ones with bows won't fire their arrows at us. So we stand here as bait for the ones without bows. Then they come, and we make them decorate the cobbles. Told you, bandits are dumb. Stronghold survived because of your help. We won't forget this. I wish we were back in the mines, even with all those spiders. At least Moramite is safe in the longhouse. Seems a week doesn't pass without a spider bite in the mines. It comes with the job. I suppose old bites and dizzy spells kept me safe from the poison. I don't know what else to say. Nothing. I'm a horrible liar. Everybody knows it. Look, the Chief got sick. We have a history, and I don't want Marama to think I poisoned him, all right? That'd be terrible. Is it that obvious? I mean, no! Nothing like that! The Chief and I disagreed over the mine's value, but we resolved things. We don't see eye to eye on trade matters, but I'm no traitor to the Stronghold, and I'd never do anything to hurt Marama. What is it now? Let me see. Ah, that belongs to Rakaz, my apprentice. You can see where the hilt doesn't quite fit the blade. Wish I could say it was one of her first attempts, but she's a slow learner. What is it now? So? I needed some ore. Three spires came from nowhere and I had to defend myself. I must have lost it in my rush to escape. It's a wonder I made it out of there alive. Fine, you got me. Are you satisfied? I did it for the town, and if you noticed, I made sure not to use too much just like Gargak taught me.
Ardak is the rightful chief of the stronghold. His brother is half the man and an utter fool. He won the trial by fighting dirty. I am simply trying to help set things right. Sorry to disappoint, but I don't plan to walk into my death. There's more to the brother's story than you've been told. Please don't rush into anything. Seek out Gargak and hear his side of the story before deciding what you believe. I don't think so. Don't cross me. What have you found? What has the fool girl done? Never mind that. Shaman Bogum has almost finished his antidote. Once Reeman's bluff recovers, our warriors will find these bandits and crack open their skulls. I must remain here and see my husband recovers. If you are willing, you should track down Gargak and put an end to his madness. Sharnak said most attacks come from the north. There are some caves, an old mine, and a ruined Imperial Tower in that direction. If you find Gargak, do what you must to stop him. You do so with my husband's authority. With my authority. What do we have here? Do you know the Code of Moloch? It's a simple code, but it's the one I live by. Don't steal, so I aim to conquer. Don't kill your kin, and none have died in my attacks. Don't attack without cause, but I have more than enough cause. When my father passed, I was to become chief by right. But then my little brother challenged me for leadership of the stronghold. Two schemers put him up to it, as long as he'd make them hunt wife and forge wife. They knew I had no respect for them. Not by my brother's skill. His future forge wife insisted we use matched weapons. As we fought, I grew lightheaded. My palms burned and I could barely keep a grip. But I fought on, and was about to strike my brother down, when my sword shattered. No other explanation. The hunt wife poisoned the hilt, and the forge wife delivered a blade that shattered in its first melee. My brother must have known. Heard they died last month, some sort of fire. A shame they won't see me take my revenge. I don't see how. It's my birthright to rule, and my brother stands in the way. What do you mean? Base my mercenaries out of this tower? It's a central location, certainly. Overlooks a choke point through all corners of the Valenwood. But no. I'm a Remans Bluff orc. Without a mind to work, I'd be nothing next to my brother. A played-out Imperial mine, I'd heard. And it's infested with trolls. Clearing them out will be no easy task. Hmm. I suppose if there's ore in the mine, I could leave my brother to rot in the stronghold. But I'd need proof. And I'll send someone I trust to meet you at the mine. I can't just take your word on this. I'm sure you understand. But I'll hold my mercenaries back until we find out if there's ore in that mine. I give you my word.
expect to see you again. I'm glad you came to your senses about Gargak. He asked me to verify any ore we find, so here I am. Let's get this over with. What do we have here? This is iron ore. I'll get some samples. Go tell Gargak that with this ore, we'll have the finest weapons in Grotwood. me proof. What did Rakaz say? She wouldn't say that lightly. With quality metal, I could rebuild this tower as a new home and drive my brother's tin profits into the ground. I'm an orc of my word. My quarrel ends today. Like you're buying at the next pub, Fla. Nothing wrong with a little opportunistic harvesting.
search my packs, you will find nothing. This one is innocent. Tell her, Gobani. Thank the moons. As I was just explaining, that thief nearly ran us over. You chased after him. Please, tell this fine keeper of the peace what you saw. I am still sore from the last night I spent in the stocks. This honorable and, if I may say so, very sleek guard has mistaken me for a common sugar thief. Please, help me clear up this misunderstanding. Hush, Kobani, if you don't have anything constructive to say, don't say anything. Surely the scoundrel is lying. I chased him here on my own two legs. He was only out of sight for a flick of the tail. Of course not. There was no other thief. Not that it matters. Our sticky-fingered friend here has already stashed the moon sugar he stole. I don't suppose you saw where. Then my paws are tied. No evidence means no theft, even if Chandra is three months' worth of moon sugar poorer. In any case, thank you. Jod's chariot appreciates your honesty. He leads the Red Fur trading coster. Every merchant who passes through Red Fur pays him a small stipend to conduct business here. They expect a certain amount of protection from thieves in return. Jod's chariot maintains order in his name. We keep the peace here in Red Fur, making it safe for traders on their way to and from Elden Root. We spend most of our time catching thieves. Return what they stole and put them in the stocks to think about what they've done. We don't hold them for long, but they usually get the message, or become better thieves. Honestly, thieves are good for business. They keep the market fluid and stop too much wealth from accumulating in one place. Until recently, Shanra would rather deal with thieves than with Thalmor bureaucrats. A reputation for being easy on thieves tends to attract thieves. The newer thieves don't give back to the people. They leave town and take their stolen goods with them. That's no good for anyone. Chandra may have to step in. Well, that was surprising. At least she is gone now, right, Gobani? That was a clever approach, telling that guard the truth. She wasn't expecting that, was she? Still, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Let's say I circumvented the market. I found the price the merchant was charging unacceptable, so I set my own. What does the merchant have to complain about? His belly is full. If they are not fed, Gobani and her sisters become most unruly. <laughs> Were it not for the hollow moon, they would have eaten me whole when I arrived in Redfur. Some call them thieves, but that's such an impolite term. The hollow moon's work is charitable by nature. They procure things for people who can't afford them, yes? Here, take this token to the ruined temple and see for yourself. Obani and I know when we have outstayed our welcome, yes? A night in the stocks might not be as bad as losing a paw, but all the same. This one heard you capture the High Elf Ambassador for her crimes in Elden Root. Well done, Walker. Pardon my saying so, but you were obviously doing well for yourself. What brought you here? I'm surprised you had one left to hand out. Apologies, I should explain. Our agents give these to the infirm so their need is not questioned when they petition us for aid. Cindertail was very... Liberal with his tokens. We thought his cinch tigers would be useful to have around, guard duty and such, but between his tiger's sugar habit and his handing out hollow moon tokens like candy, he practically emptied out our stores. Can you lift coin from a rich man's pocket without getting your hand stuck in it? Then talk to Valir upstairs. He might have something for you. Sent you? 
She thinks perhaps you can do work for us. Who are you to know so little, yet offer so much? Hmm. Maybe you are less interested when you hear what we do? You are familiar with the custom of property ownership, yes? I have a thing. It is mine. You take it. It is still mine, yes? Why? Because I did not give it to you. And if you are starving, and use what you took to feed your belly, is it still mine? No. Whatever you stole, food, money to buy food, silks to trade for food, it is inconsequential next to saving you from death. You think we should work for our bread, yes? But many can't work. They're injured, sick, or just too hungry. The hollow moon gives them what they need. Perhaps we're wrong to steal, but if the world were a more virtuous place, we wouldn't mean to. Many of them appreciate what we do. Sometimes a merchant falls on hard times. His stock is poor, or the price of sugar is too high. Then he needs us too, yes? But what about you? Are you still interested in helping the Hollow Moon? Of course, of course. <laughs> now, I was hoping you could assist me with a rather delicate matter that has presented itself. Shanra, leader of the merchants here, has threatened to call in the Thalmor. This is a problem. Jod's chariot understands that we provide a valuable service. The Thalmor is unlikely to agree. We need to change Chandra's mind. This place was not always a trading post. It was built upon a tomb whose gauntlet of traps have kept it sealed for generations. If the stories are true, it holds untold riches. We can use them to persuade Chandra to leave us be. There lies the trouble, yes? The only known entrance to the tomb is within Jode's Hall. The place is teeming with guards. We will need their cooperation to gain entry to the tomb. Go to Jode's Hall and speak to Tulaira. If I am right, she is no happier about Chandra's decision than we are. Once you are inside, you must retrieve what treasure you can and return to me here. Thank you, my friend. While many have attempted the tomb's gauntlet of traps, None have returned to tell the tale. There are many dangers ahead of you. Be careful. Rajin's mantle was discovered at the Fallen Essence. She's waiting. Rajin's mantle? I'm sorry, we can't chat for long. I'm waiting for someone. Exactly. I heard she Truly, recovered. you are so honest about Cindertail. I would not have expected you to associate with the Hollow Moon. Such is life, I suppose. Valir's messenger said he had a plan. You play some part in it, I expect. Is he mad? Why would he ask for such a thing? He knows the danger! Yes, I see. The treasure of Anabi could certainly be... persuasive. It may be our only chance of keeping the Thalmor out of our affairs. I'll give you the key, but please, be careful. I don't want your death on my hands.
They've gone to see Shanra. If you hurry, you might catch them. Kulara and Valier working together. Funabi, did you ever think we would see this day? No, Shanra. Come now, smile. Only good can come of such an auspicious alliance. You are wise to say so, Shanra. Such flattery. Tell me, why have you called me here? We have a gift for you, Shanra. To show our appreciation and solidify our friend. And I believe it has just arrived. My friend, if you would do the honors. Shanra is honored. Tell me, what have you brought? Spices? Gemstones, perhaps? <gasps> Wherever did you get this marvelous gem? Legend has it that Joan was struck by a bolt of light. For but a second, she turned from her twin, and overtaken by sadness, shed a single tear. Jode brushed it from her cheek, and it fell to the desert below. Joan's tear, such a beautiful gem. Of course not, a fanciful tale. This jewel was cut from a Varla stone by Azesas, greatest jeweler of the first era. But it's a good story, isn't it? And will fetch a fine prize. You do your friends credit. Such a prize deserves a fine reward. I thought you might have something in mind, seeing as you went through all the trouble of procuring this precious jewel. Name your price. Ah, clever and loyal. A rare combination. Very well. I prefer not to have the Thalmo looking over my shoulder anyhow. Instead, we will invest in Jord's chariot. Our coffers still need guarding, yes? As the hollow moon waxes, it is only fair that we balance the scales. We will invest significant capital in bolstering our esteemed protectors. Otherwise, we might find ourselves waiting in one of Valir's famous lines, no? My good friend, you have done so much for us and asked so little in return. If all my agents were so skilled and selfless, we might bring our services to the world. With Shanra appeased, we will continue to do what we do best. While I am sure Jod's chariot will try to stop us, they will never blot us out entirely, no? Thank you, my friend. We would not be here without your help. To get her back. I pray you can help me, good traveller. They have her, and I'm desperate. My daughter, Laracel. Bandits took her, and I don't have the money to pay the ransom. I don't know what to do. No, it's no use. The gods are in league with the brigands. Pays off. Please, no one else will help me. I think keeping my daughter in a nearby camp. You have to help her. Untie me! They could be back at any moment! 
Nero sent another board leading heart boys. Get in here. Saving my daughter. Wait, you don't understand. They made me do it. I mean, yes, they gave me a cut of their takings, but what choice did I have? They threatened to rob me of everything I own. Anything you say? Of course, I never spent a single coin from what the bandits gave me. I couldn't stand to. I'd happily give it all to you if you'll let this go. Please? Think long and hard. It'll be worth your while, and I'll never deal with those bandits again, I promise. was discovered at the Fallenesti winter site. Yes. What's the problem? General Andari has another feather in her cap. Not exactly. Is that Nello the innkeeper? He's an outstanding citizen. Must have been a really vicious frost troll. What? No. Impossible. We've had disappearances recently. But Nello sending travelers to their doom. This is unthinkable. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? This is a blight on our community. Our own innkeeper, responsible for leading visitors to bandits. Bad hospitality. Thank you for bringing him to us. We'll see he gets what he deserves. Must be done. 